With the prominence of data leaks and increasing concerns from parents regarding child care security, it's important to employ any means you can to ensure that your employee and family data is safe and secure. As a best practice, multi-factor authentication adds another layer of security to prevent unauthorized logins for ProCare's staff and family accounts. This new feature allows staff and student family members to set up two-step verification by providing a phone number or email address where they can receive login verification codes. This feature is optional, but highly recommended. Center administrators have the option of making this feature optional or required for all staff and family members, or required for specific user groups within the ProCare software. This is how your first-time login will appear upon release of two-step verification when it is optional. Open your login page for ProCare Desktop and enter your username and password and click Login. The two-step verification dialog opens and you'll have the option to skip, continue, or click the checkbox at bottom that says, Do not show this again. If you choose, do not show this again, then it will not appear until the user or administrator turns on two-step verification. If you skip, it will show a dialog where you can set up a cell phone or email verification, which is also used for password reset requests. You can skip this dialog as well by clicking Skip for Now at the bottom or simply close the window. This is how your login appears when two-step verification is required. Open your login page for ProCare Desktop and enter your username and password and click Login. The two-step verification dialog opens. You can skip the dialog the first four times you log in. Once you've exhausted those four times, then you will be required to continue to registration or you'll be logged out. When you skip, you'll still see the Verify Cell Number or Email Address dialog for verification, which is also used for password reset requests. When you continue, you'll be asked to enter either a cell phone number or email address where the verification code will be sent. It will be a text message if it is sent to a cell phone. Click Get Code, and the verification code is sent to the requested method. It may take a minute or two for the code to arrive. Get the six-digit code and enter it into the verification code box. Then click Verify Code. You can always click Resend Code if needed. You'll receive a confirmation dialog when the code is verified. Click OK to complete your login. You can configure your individual user settings by going to Configuration User. You cannot turn on two-step verification until you've set the verified methods which work for both password reset and two-step verification. This example shows email set up as primary because we set it up for password verification. Now we'll add a secondary method using cell phone. Click the plus new button, enter the verification method, then click get code. The code is sent to the requested method, in this example as a text, to a cell phone. Enter the six-digit code and click Verify Code. You'll get a successful verification dialog. Verified Contact shows the primary at top, and you can use the up or down arrow to reorder or change the primary. You can delete contacts that are no longer used or needed, but you must retain at least one contact. Administrators can turn on two-step verification by user group. Go to Configuration, Locations and Users, Two-Step Verification User Groups. Check the box for the user group to require two-step verification. If you do set a user group to required, then the next time they log in, 
they will see the two-step verification page and will have four opportunities to set up two-step verification before being prohibited until it is set up. Once you run out of logins, the skip button disappears and you'll have to continue or be logged out. Now, each time you log in, you'll be required to use two-step verification. Once two-step verification is set up and enabled, you'll enter a verification code using your selected method at each subsequent login. The final setting for system administrators is for parents in My ProCare. Go to Family Data and Accounting, My ProCare, Setup Wizard, and then Current Families. Two-step verification appears on this page. False sets two-step verification to optional, leaving the choice to individual families. True makes it required. Click Save to keep your changes.